style, speed and chainsaw massacre soundtracks have always been MV trademarks. The new MV Augusta Super Velis 800 is all those things and more because underneath the 1970s meets 21st century curves is a rather good road-going sports bike. It might be just an MV Augusta F3800 in a posh frock, but the Super Velis 800 is the most unlikely of usable road-going sports bikes. Its riding position isn't too extreme and there's lots of mid-range grunt surging from its raucous three-cylinder motor. It's the kind of money you'd expect to pay for a posh 1000 but the 800 triple is beautifully equipped, finished and packed with tech and tasty equipment, but you'd expect higher quality or even electronic suspension for the price. There's no question the new Super Velis 800 is all about style and sound and if that floats your boat and the price doesn't phase you, it won't disappoint. But for the first time in years an MV is more than just a shouty Italian in an expensive suit, it's a very capable machine in its own right. In basic terms it's an MV Augusta F3800 Supersport in fancy clothes a machine designed to dissect backroads and glide around racetracks, but MV have made the Super Velis 800 roomier. Its wide clip-ons are slightly raised and the pegs are lower, which is good news for the road especially for taller riders. Its short, thin and firm suede-covered old-school racing seat isn't the last word in comfort but it's padded enough to get you from one coffee shop to the next. Spend a bit of time on the Super Velis 800 and you quickly realize it's actually a sports bike that's halfway practical and one you can joyfully spend time with. Even the bar and mirrors give a better view than stocks and wind protection isn't too bad. Although the screen could do with being taller, a big bubble screen to match its 70s snout would look great. Chassis-wise it's all F3800 from its tubular steel frame and aluminium single-sided swing arm, to the fully adjustable Marzocchi forks, Saks shock, Brembo monoblocks and Pirelli Diablo Rosso Casa 2 rubber. Strangely there's minimal rear shock damping out of the box, so it's easy to get the Super Velis 800 out of shape, bouncing off bumps like a Zebedee on the sauce with bars wagging in your hands. Happily a couple of turns of compression and a turn of rebound slows the damping down enough to give the MV back its poise, but it's rare you need to go anywhere near a suspension adjuster on a new bike nowadays. Those damping screws give the shock a cheap feel that's at odds with the rest of the bike, you'd expect higher quality suspension and even semi-active for the price. MV hasn't dumbed its F3800 motor down to create the Super Velis 800. The 798cc inline three-cylinder is a stroked 675 Supersport unit with titanium valves and a counter-rotating crank making 146 bhp. Best of all it's finally been given the throttle manners it's always deserved. The Varese boffins have smoothed off most of its niggly, rough edges and honed its ride by wire for more fluid power, especially at low revs but it's still an MV and still slightly raw, spiky and aggressive. It's also the perfect capacity for a sports bike, it loves to rev like a super sport racer, so it never lacks excitement, but there's a nice dollop of mid-range grunt, so you don't have to go around banging the engine up against the red line the whole time. Cut from the same cloth as the Suzuki GSX-R750, Ducati Panigale V2 and Triumph Daytona 765 the Super Velis is powerful, manageable and never intimidating especially when the added safety net of lean-tastic electronic rider aids. MV Agustas have always sounded sensational and the Super Velis 800 sails along the same sonic ear canal. Admittedly it sounds pretty rough low down, but as the revs sour its pure mechanical anger punctuated by savage electronic shifter stabs. Paint finishes and attention to design and detail are textbook exotica, fairing screws are hidden, the satin finished magnesium colored wheels look fantastic and the Super Velis 800 is so posh it even wears a tiara. Even more usefully, 
The MV comes with a 3-year warranty and 2 years roadside assistance. MV Agusta models might be expensive but you can at least feel where your money is going. The Super Velis is no different and the longer you stare at it the more exquisite details you will see. It doesn't feel handmade. You can tell it came from a factory rather than a shed, but it also feels less mass-produced than more mainstream competition. You're getting a lot of speed, character tech, design and all-round handsomeness for the money, but whichever way you slice it the Super Velis 800 isn't cheap for sub-liter sports bike that doesn't have top drawer suspension. The aesthetic cues don't stop there, like the F3. The Super Velis comes with a beautiful triplet of exhaust mufflers that exit just above the rear wheel on the right. Mercifully these pipes are just on the right side of loud and don't rattle the rider's eardrums to bits like some of the other models in the MV lineup especially the ones that come standard with the SC Project exhaust. The Super Velis sounds fantastic, giving that lovely wail we've come to expect from three-cylinder MVs but never tire of hearing. The seat which looks like it's styled from Casey Stoner's Ducati Desmosedici GP9, is wafer thin and the Marzocchi fork and sack shock combination is, to put it politely on the stiff side. Get moving fast and allow the Super Velis to max out its sweeping corner speed and the ride will be a thoroughly enjoyable one, but bad surfaces are worse, slow speed city potholes will have you clenching your teeth as the seat tries to insert itself directly up your ass. The fork action is progressive enough, but it still lacks the optimum high-speed compression damping a bike this expensive and exclusive deserves. MV has had a long association with Marzocchi suspension and the Super Velis's fork feels a lot like the F3s and F4s of the past, but having a better damped fork would be a thoroughly welcome addition to such a sexy machine.